Hi, this is Bob from Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. And if you're looking for an online tough book community that gives tips, tricks, and support, hit that subscribe and bell button to be notified of our newest videos. Welcome back guys and today, this week, I'm going to talk to you about the Panasonic Toughbook CF20 versus the Panasonic Toughbook CF33. Oh, but wait Bob, those are totally two different models that aren't even supposed to be compared and I beg to differ because they're both hybrid laptops, they're both fully rugged and they, I mean the CF20 looks like the, the mini CF33 in my opinion. But I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some of the features that are the same and then what are the positives and negatives of each. So on the CF33, of course, I think it's a positive, but it may be a negative in some people's minds how heavy it is. It weighs in at 6.1 pounds with the AC adapter. Without, it's 5.5 pounds. The, the, the tablet side, when you pull the screen off as a tablet, uh, the tablet's 3.5 pounds. Whereas if we look at the CF20, the total weight without AC adapter is five and a half pounds. And then if you remove the, the tablet part, you end up with about a two and a half pound tablet. So that's a nice light tablet. It rivals the FCG1. Some things that um, also are the same, they both have the same kind of port covers that I really like in that they seem to be looking like they're going to last longer than like in the legacy model. I mean, let's face it, the CF20 replaces the, the uh, CF19 and we know all about those port covers and how they would eventually break off, especially that power port cover. Uh, the, the CF20 ends up with two batteries, just like the CF33. However, the CF20 puts a battery in the screen or the tablet side and a battery in the keyboard side. So that's where they're putting the batteries for the CF20. And I think they did that because this is a smaller unit. Whereas on the CF33, both batteries end up being in the tablet side. So you can put two batteries in here and you get a longer battery life using the CF33. You'd have to ask, they both have the cameras, you know, front and back cameras so that you're able to take pictures with the tablet. They both are, you know, have the carry handles like this. Uh, they both have docking so that you're able to dock. They use different docks. The 33 and the 20 use different docks. Uh, the, the base, the keyboard base is basically the same, uh, just smaller on the CF20. It has, um, if you take a look here, uh, the keyboards are both backlit. It looks like the mice, the, the mouse pad, is the same size, which it may even be the same, I'm not 100% sure, but they are definitely the same size. Uh, I like the, the difference on this one is the latch is a rotating latch, whereas the CF20, the latch is kind of a, a, a lift up and, and just click it in like that, so that whenever you pull it out, it's like, you know, pulls off like that. I don't particularly like the latch, but it is a lighter weight unit. The one thing I will say, if you ask my opinion, Bob, which one of these, if you were going to make a decision on which one to buy, which one do you buy? Well, I'm a little bit in love with the CF33, only because it feels sturdier in my hands. It's got that nice hefty feel that you, you feel like a rugged laptop should be. Uh, I love the two batteries in the tablet side so that when you're using a tablet, you still have the battery life. I mean, let's face it. The tablet without the keyboard with the two batteries, can, the batteries can last up to nine hours. That's a full work day. If you're putting the keyboard on it, the batteries are only gonna last seven hours. Whereas on the CF20, you don't get that kind of battery life coming out of this. The other side of the coin is the CF20. The top cover plate is one full plate and this tends to crack, which I think it's just based on the square inch of, of the thing. You don't see that so much on the 33. It just feels sturdier. Um, so my recommendation, if you had a choice and you can deal with the weight, that would be the negative. I would go with the CF33. You get a bigger screen. You get a better built machine versus the 20. You will pay a few dollars more for the CF33 versus the 20 but in the long run, I think it'll last longer. 
Uh, well, that's all I really got on this. Leave your questions down in the comments so I can uh, answer them. I'll do a video on all the questions I get for the CF-33. Other than that, I'll see you guys next week.